you ever wake up and just feel like I I don't want to do another E minor chord? It's just it's a stretch. And then you know C, that's even worse. D, you got to put all those fingers there, and you have to make sure you don't hit these two bottom strings because that doesn't really work. And then the G, I don't even know if I want to decide between doing it this way or that way or, or this. I mean, do you ever just feel like enough is enough with that? If you could just get a chord at the touch of a button, well you can. With the new chord buddy, sadly it only does those four chords, but I mean, let's be serious, you don't really need that much more than those four chords. So what this is, is it's a series of little rubber pads, and each of the four buttons pushes in a set of those rubber pads, which are designed to mirror fingers touching a specific chord shape. And they're color coded too, just to make it easier to remember which color. So it's sort of like a painting by numbers, only it's it's kind of a playing by numbers, right? So playing by numbers. So we're gonna put this on the on the guitar here. And when you put this on, you want to make sure that it doesn't touch the strings yet. So you want to make sure there's no buzzing and that the strings kind of ring true. I'm gonna tighten it like that and just see if that's enough. And then from there, you should be able to push one button. And if you want to, you can even put your four fingers like this onto each of the buttons so that they're ready there to push the chords that you need. So there you go, there's an E minor. That's a C. Still have the same challenge there with the, uh, the bottom E string ringing underneath the C chord, but you know, that's not too bad. It's not as bad as the bottom E string ringing underneath the D chord. Let's see what the D chord sounds like. I think this is it here. Yeah, so you still need to, you still need to kind of not fret the whole, not strum the whole guitar. So a little bit of effort still required there. And then the finale is a G chord. Now, with that, you can play entire songs, right? want to get clever you can push the blue and the green button do this kind of thing where you've got the G chord with the little parts of the C in there as well. Listen in post guys how the hanging that teeny that fast boys brown the beauty parlors for the sailors the circus is in It's pretty versatile because you can also play it with a capo, I think. Let's just have a look and see if, uh, if that's actually correct. So, good luck trying to capo that. But let me see if it capos maybe a little lower on the neck. So we're going to capo it at the third fret. No. No, and in fact, the whole operation of this, well, actually, I wonder if you could put the capo... So, capo doesn't work too well because you don't necessarily have enough room there to get the capo close to the frets and also put the chord buddy on top there. So it really is limited to playing in that first key. Uh, I was a bit disappointed at that. I thought that maybe um, you could actually capo this thing and it, it might open up a little more possibility where you're not limited to just that one key. The sun go down to the water and see the wind
active and you know you think about all the songs that are written with just four four chords like Nick Cave's The Weeping Song, a favorite of mine, it's just got two chords. You can get away with that. You know, I've been a little bit sarcastic in this video at the start and I was a little bit sarcastic and judgmental when I first saw this thing online. I sort of thought, well that's a crime. What the hell? Just you gotta learn the chords. You gotta do the work, right? You, you know, you need to learn how to put your fingers on there properly. This isn't playing guitar. It made me kind of feel like the same reaction I get when I see people playing guitar player on the, the Xbox, the PlayStation, which is even worse because there's no transference of what you learn in, in a video game guitar to an actual guitar. And you get some people who, some people have gotten very proficient at playing video game guitar. There's even world championships at this stuff. And, you know, I picked that thing up. I, I can't do anything with it. I can play guitar, but I can't touch those. I just don't know what, what it's about. It just feels like that's an awful lot of energy and attention to put into something that takes you down a road that, that goes in the opposite direction of learning a musical instrument. And in a way, I sort of thought, well, this is kind of similar. It even has colored buttons like some of those video game guitars have. But you know, I was a little bit humbled and put in my place because when I started to look at the comment section of some of these videos, I sort of got a little bit of a lesson because I saw a range of comments. I saw people saying things like, hey, my arthritis means I just can't form chord shapes anymore and this is a lifesaver because I can now easily form those four chords and I can I can now play guitar again. I saw comments like, I injured my hand. I've never able to play guitar since then, but with the chord buddy I can actually do that. I've also seen comments where people said, hey look, at the start I really struggled to learn chords and this gave me some sort of knowledge about how to put them together and I could um, I could focus on just, you know, the chord strumming pattern. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. One, and two, and three, and four. And just with the down-up patterns, and just focus on that, and not worry so much about learning strumming pattern, and learning chord shapes, and changing the chord shapes. And some people said that's a, that was tough at the start. It is tough, but some people have said in the comments that this just removed some of the complication and some of the variables where they could just push the chord shape learning to the side, pause it temporarily, learn the strumming patterns, get the right hand down, and get the sense of which chords went where, and learn songs and know, okay, C's coming next, now it's G, and even sing the melodies and get used to singing which chord next and the strumming, and that helped them get confident and produce sounds and produce music on the guitar, and then they could take the chord buddy away and learn the chord shapes. And having the rest of it down, the chord shapes was the last little step for them to learn. And I read comments that said this was really helpful for them as an introduction to learning the guitar. And I also read comments that said, look, I don't have a musical bone in my body when it comes to playing an instrument. I'm just never gonna be able to learn it. I, I just, I can't get my head around it. It's just not in me to learn. It's not in my genes, I don't, I don't have it. And yet with the chord buddy, here I am, playing a few chords and getting joy and pleasure out of the guitar. So having looked at those comments and understood the experiences of these people who were having a good time with this thing, it chased me a little bit. Yes, for me, I'm not really going to use this thing in all seriousness. And in terms of teaching guitar students, no, I wouldn't really advise this. I would advise traditional methods. I would advise you to go through the pain of learning the stuff first the hard way. But that said, I can see the usages of this. I can see how this does bring pleasure and joy to people who otherwise might not be able to play the guitar. So limited as it is, just those four chords and not really being able to cap or change keys, it still has a tremendous advantage for a certain demographic of guitar players. And I was curious when I saw it online. At first I was dismissive, but as I said, I was quickly put in my place. And with that I decided just to go ahead and order one and just see how it worked and see how it sounded. I'd be curious to know what your thoughts are. If you are a, a learning guitar player or if you struggle with the guitar, if, if you've come across this kind of device or if you have one, I'd also be curious to know if you've made it work with a capo. You know, maybe there's certain types of capos that are a little bit different that can actually accommodate this guy. So thanks again for watching. As usual, click that subscribe button and click the bell to get notified when I publish new content. If you have thoughts on this guy, go ahead and leave some comments below on that as well.
all four of them make a pretty good chord, buddy.